Carnivore Girls Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants. No dairy. The next level cooking show. Carnivore recipes with meat, fish, seafood, eggs, gelatin, flavored seltzer, water and salt. From super easy to complicated. From quickly done to many hours in the kitchen. I always say everybody's body and brain are different and you gotta figure out what works best for you. The carnivore lifestyle has tremendous benefits, healing effects and is the best elimination diet. There are many different ways how to do carnivore. I found a way that momentarily works the best for me. In this cooking show, I'll show you it doesn't have to be boring and can be very creative, delicious and fun. I already created so many carnivore recipes on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. And I have this never-ending list on my phone with tons of ideas. My brain is a gift and a curse. Have fun with this episode! Today, ex semolina. Another episode to, for um, carnivore ingredients. And I want to make ex semolina. Oh, I love that. I love the texture. So, ex semolina I make out of egg whites. And yes, I even use egg whites from the carton. And they pasteurized, cage free egg whites, 100% liquid egg whites. Uh, ingredients egg whites so there's nothing else in it but yes they pasteurized and um, if you want to whip egg whites no 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 use egg whites from an actual egg fresh but for egg semolina this works greatly or also fresh ones of course I already started here with my um, water bath I want to make here yeah, so I have a bit of water in here and I'm gonna boil it. Now it's actually already almost boiling so I can turn it way down. I'm not gonna turn it down to very low yet, but then I can turn it down to very low. And as I recall, last time I made this, this whole thing fit in here. This is um, one pound, 454 grams of egg whites. And for egg semolina, we need a lot of egg whites. Well, it depends how much you want to make, but um, I love it. So I'm going to make that whole thing. It's going to take a while. Um, sometimes I just use half of it or I use just egg whites, fresh egg whites not that many so it's not that much and of course the more you have the longer it takes and okay i'm gonna go to very low now because it is boiling yes and what we are gonna do here is actually a big big kitchen faux pas meaning a big mistake actually something you don't want to happen but we want it to happen on purpose now. And that is to curdle the egg whites, that they separate. It's like the water, egg whites also have water that they separate from the water. And I'm not, you see, I'm not really doing much yet because my egg white is still, um, Cold, but now it's starting starting yeah so now all I do is just whisk and yes it's a bit boring it takes a bit time as I said if, if you only make half of it or a quarter it uh, doesn't take as much time but that's all I do I just whisk 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 getting thicker now so the goal is to um, 
curdle the egg, egg white so it separates from the water and then let the water evaporate. Look at this. Now you have a nice consistency. We can take it off the hot stove. I took it off the pan and the hot stove. And I'm gonna uh, keep stirring a little bit more. Oh, look, I love this consistency. That's good. And now I just let it sit for a while. Actually, I'm gonna add salt. So I'm gonna add salt now before I let it sit because that should also help to get more of the water out. So I let it sit for 10 minutes and you see here how the, hmm, Hope you can see it. There's more water that got separated. So now, well, you can, you, you don't have to uh, let it sit, but uh, now I can try, it's a bit hard because there's a better method, but let me show you this quickly. So you can, uh, Take the water out, kind of, so pour it out. I usually drink it, it's really delicious. So, and mix this up again, but you can also just much easier take a strainer. Oh, did you see? Uh, I shouldn't have done that. At the end, there was like quite some water. I didn't have to put it in here, but well, now it goes through. Oh yeah, this is of course much easier. Sometimes I don't feel like putting it through the strainer and I don't care. So I just let it sit for a while, pour the water out. Sometimes I get much more water than this just from letting it sit. It always depends, it's always a bit different. But uh, yeah, this would be the correct way to do it. You see, I already get quite some water here so done or you just let it sit for a while to get more water out it depends yeah how you want it but uh it is curdled it is so when you eat it like this you do feel like the separation so maybe you want to you can also like well don't press like the curds uh down like don't press them through the strand but you can press a bit See, if you want, you can press it out of it. Or I usually just let it sit. And here it is, Eximolina. And the consistency is just amazing. I love it so much. And it's so tasty. And I know it's a kitchen faux pas, but that is so tasty. So it's really, oh, I love this consistency. And look, it really looks like semolina. Mm. Now, I usually put other stuff in it. So good, but also just like that. And of course, because it's just egg whites, super low in calories and uh, protein bomb, true pro protein bomb. And here is uh, the water. And that one is delicious too. So I drink that. Well, salt water with a little bit of egg in it. I really love the ex -amalina. You don't necessarily need a water bath to make ex -amalina. You can also just directly put it in the pan. And I'm heating it up 
on the highest right now, but then later on, I will turn it down. So you just have to be careful here so you won't burn it. But this works too. And this uh, uh, goes even a little bit faster. Doesn't take as long. It's uh, cold right now, I'm warming it up, but I don't have to stir con uh, constantly right now. But once it's starting to get warm, to get more firm, you will feel it. Then especially without the water bath, I really have to stir to make sure it's not gonna stick on the bottom and get burned. So yeah, you see, suddenly here it goes fast. So I turned the heat way down. So yeah, now it's foaming up. Now it still takes a while, of course, because we want to evaporate all the excess water and we want it to curdle. But uh, yeah, it, it goes faster without the water bath, but you got to be careful. And now I'm really, yeah, constantly stirring. So I started with the highest heat and then I uh, went down to like a number two. And uh, then I went to like number four, like middle heat. And now it's getting, you see? Ooh, yep, getting thick and it curdles. So I can turn it off. Yeah, then for, from the number four, I went to like number three. So like middle heat, but uh, yeah, it does go faster. But with a water bath, it's just, it's safer, but it's no problem. You can do it like this too. Just um, be careful that when you, I never let it come to a boil. Um, well, maybe if I would have stopped stirring, it would have started to boil up because then it probably would like foam up and overflow. But perfect. So this version works too, whatever works better for you. Now, like the other one, put it in a strainer and mix some goodies in it and enjoy. Thanks for watching! If you try out this recipe, please tag me and let me know how you like it. Subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, at Carnivore Girl. See you next week in my next episode of Carnivore Girl's Creative Carnivore Kitchen. No plants, no dairy, the next level cooking show.